Hey, you intrepid viewers, and welcome back to Kathy Rain. We're gonna talk to Granny about cock. Does the nickname Cocky mean anything to you? Sounds vaguely familiar. It reminds me of the aviator call signs Joseph and his friends gave one another. Joseph was vigilante. Oh, wow. He got into trouble for breaking the rules. I didn't put it together. How did to I? I'm day, almost I retired. No idea how he always Was his name Joseph Vigilante Rain and I just missed it? Like an idiot. <laughs> Must be hereditary, given the things I've gotten away with. Every time I wake up, I am genuinely surprised that I'm not in jail. What a life. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad, dear. But to get back to the subject, you don't have any idea of who this cocky is? I'm afraid not, but the Air Force might be a good place to start. Okay. Bye, Grandma. I'll be so long. Let's see if they'll answer my questions from this number. Or if I will always have to call the Air Force Base from the police center. Because that's going to get real old. In fact, it's already feeling kind of old and learning it twice. I'm coming, I'm coming. Pick up the phone. Look, I look up cocky in the phone book. What were the other nicknames from whatever I was reading about the nickname? I was just like talking. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Absolutely. Mm. Do you recognize the aviator call sign cocky? Afraid not, ma'am. Mm. I know all the call signs here, and I'm positive it's not one of them. This isn't current, though. It might have been used as early as World War II. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't keep any official records of call signs. The only option I can think of is to get a hold of somebody who was around back then. Any suggestions? Get a hold of him and don't let go. The only person I can think of who is still alive would be Charles Wade. All right, thanks. My pleasure, ma'am. Anything else I can help you with? I don't see a... Nope. All right, that's all. Goodbye, ma'am. Good day. Charles I Wade. I number already. Oh. I have that number already. No result for... How do I call Charles... Well, wait, I didn't see us, of course. Now, might someone please be home? Please? You've reached Erica. Ah, son of a biscuit. I don't leave a message. I want to put a message in here, but I'm not sure what. I think I'll sleep on it and try to figure out something tomorrow. How do I do that? Granny, I'm tired. Let me sleep. There's no rooms in this house. This is an attic. That's an attic, Granny. I need sleep. I'm so tired, Granny. It was a Hot Wheels achievement. All right. There are a single pair of boots on display. Boy, do. Hmm. What else do I got? In the drowning. What's this for? Think about it. What this unlocks. We'll never know. In the mausoleum. It's a small key. Fairly modern design. No identifying tag, unfortunately. I mean. We, we, I guess I'll try and do it again, but we did unlock the little locker thing at the police station, right? That's how I got a lot of the stuff in my inventory. Maybe it got undone. Maybe these guys know about cocky. You guys know anything about World War II? Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. Files. Nah, I don't. Okay. Jesus is fast. I probably should. Where I got? Maybe I got that from the other one. Hey, Lenny. Do you remember anything about a girl drowning around here? Yeah, I remember my mom telling me about that. I was like six at the time, though. My mom was do real you sick. Her name? Oh man, not really. I was so little. I think it was something with an L. Linda. Laura, something like that. All right, I'll keep looking. Hey, Lenny, do you recognize these men? Not really. Sorry, 
Just throwing everything against the wall to see what sticks. I don't want to show. Uh, already put the one tape in there. What's this tape? No, uh, leave. Well, gotta go. See ya. What is this one again? The tape Grandpa had on him when he was found in '81. I definitely already listened to it, right? I gotta check out the lockers because I'm here. Maybe I should just show Granny everything again. How are these doors so silent? This baffles me. Are you cocky, Mr. Bum? Are you Wade, Charles Wade Wilson? Evidence I'll lockers. Yeah, you got a key. Use it. I don't see how those things work oh, together. Well, never, never mind. Crap. Oh, this. jail cell. Yeah, it looks cramped. What a surprise. Give it to him. That combination makes no sense. You make no sense. <laughs> so mean. Maybe he's a huge mathematician. A mathematician. He's good at mashing things. Give any of my stuff to a criminal. I might not get then why'd back. you walk over here? That's just presumptuous. Yeah. Super rude. Give him a stun gun. That'll be hilarious. I think he's been adequately punished. I wasn't gonna use it all, I was gonna give it to him. Okay, well. Alright, what's this one? Two different police reports. Uh, right. Did I show this to Granny? Lock number five, we opened it. I guess that's where we got pictures from. Well, I guess let's go to... Let's go to Granny. But I feel like I probably already talked to her about it. It's, it's kind of weird because you'll find things in this game that will give you either other items or other things in your notebook to talk about. And it's not, but you'll keep the thing that inspired them. So it's not always clear to me like which one I need to use on somebody. Like if I pick up that police report and I get a note in my notebook and I talk to Granny with the notebook, I think I still also have to talk to her with the police report. Because I think I remember having this revelation like two episodes ago. Oh. Hi, dear. I don't want to talk to you. I, I want to look at all this stuff. All the booze. So cool. Nice leather chair. Freckles, the old farm cat, used to love that thing. Literally. Don't think there's anything in this room. Mind if we t Not at all. Okay, talk about this. I got the dictaphone already. I don't think there's a this. I already talked to her about this. Oh, okay, I don't remember. I don't think we need to Okay. What do you about math? The attic. Recognize it? Oh yes. Take it away. Take it away. It for Joseph's birthday once. He yeah, was hopefully just once. By numbers. He believed that math could explain everything in this world. He but was couldn't man of explain science. love. There's no denying that. I already showed her. I already showed. I already talked. What if I? I, already showed, I don't want to. Show, I don't see a reason. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. No call signs. Someone around. Wade. <sighs> How do I get to Wade? Well, I mean, I can try harassing the poor bereaved mother some more, like a hero. I'm not going to the grave this episode, I swear it. I swear it, you can't make me check out the grave this episode. It's gonna happen, I'm gonna give up, I'm gonna go there, and there's gonna be nothing again. And I'll feel like an idiot. Stop it with the music! I don't get what to do with this thermometer. I guess I don't, I just, I don't know what to do with this whole lake thing. I just need to start smoking, and then she'll come out and we'll have a nice friendly chat about smoke. Huh. You again? Yeah, it's me. Uh, hi, hi, Sue. Um, I'm still here and will be until you agree to talk to me. Slam. Enjoy a night curled up in the leaves, then. 
She keeps answering. Won't you ever give up? Somebody around here is. I just ignore her for a little while. It doesn't belong. To I'm me. messing with your stuff. Fifty-five degrees, not too chilly. Yeah. She looks Let's pretty annoyed with stare at her. Ha! I'm gonna keep doing it until she shoots me. Stop it! I deserve what you do. I'm just gonna keep skipping these things. I, I, it feels like it's escalating to something. Won't you ever give up? Okay, it's not. Uh, I'm not leaving. Bite me. I can see someone moving. Can I burn the cabin down? And I start smoking the little bits that are left. Can I tase Sue? Huh, I'm not that desperate. Still got Okay, I can just start smoking. And she'll be like, oh no, I'm out of smokes. Give me what you got. Oh, flick. She's smoking in front of her face. What? And hit. 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 She's gonna be desperate. Oh, okay, she didn't care at all. <sighs> what if I can I just play this dictaphone? If I can play it to her, I think that's like her voice on it, right? And maybe not. I don't want to show her that. I should try to get her on my side first. Try to get her on my side. Don't close the door. Don't close the door. No! God dang it! Yeah. Just, just get away. She's remarkably patient. I don't want to show her that. Uh, get her on my side. I don't want to show. What? What do I need to show her? I only get it like two I clicks. <sighs> I have to do something wrong. There's no way this can be the what? right solution. I don't it's want to too hard to click on her. Just taser. Get her on your side with a taser. God, that would be immensely satisfying, but extremely counterproductive. Hmm. Ah. I don't. Open slowly. Stop. It. Stop it. I don't want to. Okay, oh, give her a cigarette. Just use it like this. Care to join me for a smoke? Ah, ha ha. Mysteries? Well, um, I'm gonna have to think about it. What brand? Hmm. Coralie Cinderace. Extra long. Extra long. Taste, I'll give you that. Give it to me. Well, I suppose one smoke can hurt. And then she died. And that's when he realized it was his own bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, now that was a good one. Who gets? Who gets? How funny! Oh my okay. gosh! You're okay. Sorry for being such a <sighs> before. I get a short fuse when I run out of smokes. Now that's an understatement. Good thing I had my morning smoke. Otherwise, we would have had a fist fight on our hands. <laughs> oh, it's getting chilly. Why don't we head inside? Sure. Let's go. Just flicked her into her eye. Look at this bowl of pudding. Now this here's my boy Nathan. He's special. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi there, guy. I'm a normal kid. I just got a good thing going here. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Popular belief is that Kathy Rain yeah, believes owls are more than what they seem. Addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. Such a big fan. So you wanted to ask me about Lily. Oh, you picked up on that. telling me what happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. 
I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him and the good he'd done for the other people around here. So I let him in. He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she, that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth, that she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. Hmm. All right, anything else? Well, he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Yep, that's one of hers right there on the wall. I see, it's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. Hmm. I didn't really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper, thanked me, and left. You got a good memory. Any idea of what he could have seen? Not really. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold, I sold them all for the cigarette of money. To go to this weirdo art collector. Weirdo art collector. Um. Does the name Charles Wade mean anything to you? Oh, he's some big-time businessman, ain't he? Yeah, he owns a large company. That about sums up what I know about the fella. <laughs> Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather? How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. How long? Uh, a week, maybe, hmm. at the most. I don't need to ask her. Mind telling me what Lily was like, Sue? I'm Alive! Sue. She was Nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys and whatnot. And she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was 10, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. We didn't have much, really, and so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> That's hard. On her 12th birthday, Tears so easily. Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, it consumed her. her. At school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no, this was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to hmm. do that. I tried everything. Counseling, support groups, antidepressants, nothing worked. Maybe I should have tried them on About Lily. A year later, she just gave up. And well, you know the rest. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. What do you do to support the two of you? A little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. Yes, he's a pretty good drawer as you well. You don't mind me asking. You could say he didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. Could I say that? Really? I have your permission. After what happened to her, started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for 15. Man, that must be rough for you. Oh, we're Is he the bum in there? Without him, aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. Mama, this surely is a dream. I don't need to ask. So, tell me about Lily's art. It used to be about cheerful things, landscapes, animals, bright colors. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things, death and decay. And the last few pieces look like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition? So for her judgy art? of her art. Not it's really. awful. 
Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. Tell me about this art collector person. Rich, fancy looking, in his 50s or thereabouts. I'd say he'd be around 70 now if he's still alive. He knocked on that door one day with a wad of cash in his hand. Five thousand dollars. He wanted everything that Lily so much as touched with a brush. Huh, did he say why? Nope, but I got the feeling that most of that dough was paid so he could avoid any questions. Hmm. I took the money. I still had Nathan to support. Did the stranger give you his name? No. Well, his face was far from forgettable, though. Big nose, bright blue eyes, looked black Irish. He had a thick black mane, turning gray. No beard. All right, Sue. Thanks. Um... No reason to... No reason. I don't think I have to show her any of this stuff. Hey, Sue, do you recognize any of these men? Well, there's Joseph Rain. <laughs> Always so handsome. Gross. I had such a crush on Gross. him. Gross. And... No way. That's him. The man who bought the paint. Wow, he shot in the joke. dark. But there's no mistake in that hair and nose. Are you sure? I'm positive. Lord. Yeah, that you have That's mains in the Air Force. Cabin with five grand in cash. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. Ugh, another question for the elusive Mr. Wade. <laughs> Just rewound it. Uh, no reason. Uh. I'd rather. Do you know what this? Well, that's a bit of a weird question. <laughs> but no. I'd rather just. Ask okay, I think we're done here. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. Ah, uh, your friendship was as cheap as a single cigarette. Not gonna stay with Granny. Get on the catmobile. Get on the catmobile. Cool. Well, I'll let this play out. I guess. Doesn't look that late. Hey, you're still up. Yeah, it's 2 p.m. I was wondering when you'd show up. How did it go? Long story. I found out about some stuff that happened when I was a kid. Wow, what a mystery. So what's the plan now? Oh, my average voice. Um. Uh... Some shut eye is the plan. I'm about to pass out. Oh, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm way too excited. Well, that makes one of us, Nighty. <sighs> Good night, cat. And fifty black. Cool. Hey, Kathy, <sighs> wake up! Ah. Ah, you are so lucky there are no sharp objects near this bed. Guess what? I got an idea. Tase her. Please tell me it involves you taking a sabbatical. Haha, <laughs> so you found all this evidence, right? Pictures, tapes, and stuff? I guess. Why? Well, as you know, I have a computer. And I, I know this know. hacker guy, Dave, and... Dave the hacker. Oh, never mind, I'll just write you a note. You go back to sleep. Seriously, Eileen, sometimes I just marvel at how your brain works. I know, right? What was that scene even for? I could have just woken up to a note. Oh, going to school. Look at those leg warmers. I can click Are on you stuff. Sure you want to do this, Catherine? It's always a dream. You still have time. If you think there's any chance you would change your mind. I'm sure, Doctor. Just get it out of me. But please, don't tell my mom. Uh. I'm sorry, but we have to do that. It's the law. Law. <sighs> It's none of her business. It's my choice to make. I have enough. Yeah, that's a weird law. Already. This would just add fuel to the Violates fire. Doctor Patient I'm confidentiality. I, I mean, there are laws right. that do that. Let's just. I didn't know. This, this was one of them. It must be a right, state thing. Way. I don't think it's a national thing. Federal. I could be wrong though. Ugh, I hate that dream. Roll up, get out of bed, drag a comb through my head, find the note. 
Where could it be? I guess Eileen went no, to No, not class. We're gonna watch like a five minute movie of us going to class. Okay, cool. That was that episode. Uh, next, I guess we're gonna go back out of the city, back into town. Maybe we're good for Dave. I don't know. We will see. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see. Central catchphrase.